third dimension. 3D news by. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf Vega, and I have with me James. Yes. And Jake. Hello. And we're doing a quick 3D news bite. Today we got the trailer for uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and um, <laughs> this is coming out in November. And we don't know for sure if it's going to be a 3D movie, but I think it's safe to assume it will be. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I hope it's gonna not. Be, it's going to be so good. Yeah. Thanos needs to snap this out of existence. <laughs> God. So it's coming out November 8th, and, um, now, uh, live action. Typically, um, I remember, and you should search the archives, but I remember specifically in the 3D show about two years ago, I said, uh, and, uh this is a rough quotation of the conversation, I said, and they're gonna make a Sonic movie, and your response was, oh god, no. <laughs> But it's pretty. That's pretty funny. That like I was talking about it, and that it turned out to be real all these years later. So this is a Paramount movie from the producers of the Fast and the Furious, which <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. And it's, it's a CG Sonic the Hedgehog, where everything else in this world is a human in real life. Yes. And we get Jim Carrey as Doctor Robotnik or Eggman. Yes. And he hams it up in this, which is understandable. Yes. And this trailer looks god awful. <laughs> yeah, I was well, you like don't thinking, like Sonic's design. This looks you don't like the this look, paradise dice. The most overused nineties. Well, I mean, they would have been better off using smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> Gangsters Paradise and Sonic don't go together. At all. This is like a tuna fish and peanut butter sandwich. And aside from the stupid music selection here, I mean, it just doesn't look like a fun movie. Like, Sonic is escaping the government or something. <laughs> and he this looks so lame as generic. Well, one thing that's weird, too, is, like, he looks, he doesn't have the proportions of, the, like, the cartoon Sonic character. He's, like, been given realistic, you know, it I looks horrendous. I don't Sonic having such long legs. Yeah, it looks really <laughs> bad. Yeah, I'm, like, going, yeah, my, my garbage dar just went off. So, Jake, have you played any of the Sonic games? Nope. James. I have. Yes, you have? Okay. Do you like them? They're okay. I like a couple of them. I like Sonic Advance the most. Um, you know, it, it, it's been rough going for Sonic the Hedgehog in the video game form. So True. I mean, he's he's had a lot of uh, landmines, you know. And the thing is, too, I don't, I don't know who this film is, like, made for. Because they're obviously, like, the fans aren't going to be happy about this. Oh, the fans hate this. I don't know who... I, I, I don't know who's in the market for a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So, Jake, you're not a Stupid. video game player. With Gangster's Paradise? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> the freaking, in the trailer, there's literally, like, giant white text saying <laughs> saying what the lines are like the people making the, the people they expect to be watching this are retarded <laughs> like what what's with that freaking awful you know you know it's not just like the quality of the movie i think the trailer makes it worse probably than it actually is in the sense of like i think the editing the choice of music the giant block text, like everything about this trailer just make amplifies the worst elements of it, you know. So, Jake, you haven't played Jake. Nope, and what in the hell is uh Jim Carrey doing with Hawkeye's haircut? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so Jim Carrey just playing Jim Carrey though, honestly. It's not like specifically yeah. an Eggman person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a paycheck. Yeah, well, you know, Eggman, uh, you know, he's over the top. He's he's a cartoon, but um, you know, he's he acts in a very specific way. It's not it's not necessarily Jim Carrey, you know. 
So yeah, this isn't for the fans of Sonic. This isn't for people that don't know the video game. And for some reason, he uses rings as portals, which doesn't make any sense at all to the video game. It looks no, not the video game, but there <laughs> in the Sonic comics, he can do that. So, but that's a very weird like the Archie comics. You're gonna use those as inspiration? Okay. Weird. Yeah. I don't know. I guess for some reason they think that more people read the comics than played the video games. Which we know better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Very so, weird. So this is the official synopsis. Sonic the Hedgehog live action adventure comedy based on the global blockbuster video game franchise by Sega centers on the infamously brash bright blue hedgehog. The film follows the misadventures of Sonic as he navigates the complexities of life on Earth with a newfound human, his best friend Tom Waskowski, James Marson. Stupid. Sonic and Tom join forces to try to stop the villainous Dr. Robotnik, Jim Carrey, from capturing Sonic and using his immense powers for world domination. The film also stars Tika Sumter and Ben Schwartz as the voice of Sonic. That's the official. What is this movie about? You know what's weird too about uh, about the about their choice, like for a voice actor. You know, here's the thing: I uh, you can make the argument, okay, a cartoon ca- a cartoon character uh, when made when ported to live action can't, of course, have the same voice because you have to get a real actor to play this character. That isn't the case for a CGI creature. Why aren't you using like? any of Sonic, Sonic's voice actors that actually sound like Sonic. Sonic has a very specific way of speaking, and this guy doesn't sound even sound like him remotely. No, I agree with you, and this movie looks dated, like it could have released in 2003, kind of dated. Yeah. It would have been dated then, and now it looks just completely off the rails, ridiculous. And um, since this is a set, yeah. you know, a news bite podcast, that's basically going to be it. Um, any last words? <laughs> I hope. Uh, I hope this isn't in three D. Then we can. Then I can just ignore it. Uh, and I uh, want to enjoy it. And uh, we uh, are going to have to do rock paper scissors to see who uh, gets stuck reviewing this. Oh, I'll review this crap. <laughs> this will be fun this will be fun i agree with james so james and i will be come come on you got it like i appreciate bad movies because they're fun to hate oh uh there are lots of bad movies that are fun to hate like the first sharknado (laughs) yeah this might be the same caliber uh, (laughs) yeah well, actually, this looks more like it's more like Sharknado Four. <laughs> just the just going for the cash. Well, that. Go ahead and finish up your thought, James. I just said, but the fact that the soulless cash grab is one of the reasons why it's endearing. Yeah, there could be much for the, said for that, but. Well, I'll see you guys next next time. Next sound bites. You know these are going to be tight little episodes because we don't want to go on too far on these ep- uh, shows. So that's it for us. Bye. 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 All right. Before this podcast ends, I want to give a thank you to my patrons. Right now we have a one patron, which is David from Spain, and I want to thank you for your financial support. All right. So that's going to be it for this podcast. We now have a Patreon, and the link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. And we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They don't put it everywhere. Just look for us, 3D or 2D. And of course, review us on iTunes. And if you want to write us a letter, um, our email address is email 3D or 2D at gmail.com. So that's going to be it. Uh, Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. So the director on Twitter recently said that they hear the criticism and they will be changing the character model of Sonic. That won't really change the story being lame. My comments still stand, but I wanted to give that heads up about the character model being changed after this recording of this podcast.